So we all know holiday parties can be tricky if you're trying to watch what you eat, but our guest today has four low-carb, low-sugar recipes so you can celebrate without a calorie catastrophe. Christine Hironic is a food scientist and nutrition expert with Gage Girl Training. Good morning. Thank you so much Good for morning. being here. Thanks for having me. So before we get started, what is a food scientist? Food scientist applies chemistry to food products. It takes the food out of the kitchen and it's about getting it in the lab and scaling it on a manufacturing scale. That's pretty cool. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, about 10 years. About 10 years. Yes. And it helps you prepare all the food that we have Absolutely. right here? Absolutely. All right, cool. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to start with some salad this morning. No ordinary salad. Prosciutto, gorgonzola, pear, and Brussels sprouts. Yeah, so this is a very simple, sweet, and savory salad. It's very low in carb. There's no uh, croutons. We're using some light pear, gorgonzola, which is really good for calcium. And it's a really simple, easy to make dish. Do you mind if I ask where the dressing is? Uh, the dressing's already on there. It's already on there? Yeah. Okay. And it's like Brussels sprouts are like the thing. Everybody's Absolutely. talking about Brussels sprouts. Yes. So as a food scientist, is that like really something we should all be thinking about, trying to eat, trying to get used to eating? Uh, absolutely. Brussels sprouts are really great, especially for women with hormonal issues. They contain an ingredient called IC3, which is really great at naturally uh, balancing estrogen levels. Man, those are stuff right there. That's good. So when you yes. hear people in LA talk about food, you're like, you don't know what you're talking well, about. You know, I, there's a lot of uh, health conscious people here, and I think that's really important. Okay. All right. Everybody's talking about cauliflower. Yes. You know, cauliflower pizza, cauliflower this. Yes. What do you think about that? Cauliflower has made the best transformation. It's in pizza, it's in rice, and now we can make it for mashed potatoes. It's really great way, low carb. You can get your kids to eat it without feeling like they're missing out on anything. And we've actually seasoned it with some chives. Um, you can put it right here. It so looks it just really like good. mashed potatoes. And it does. It tastes just that. like it too. It tastes just like it as well. The texture is the same, but you're going to save a ton of calories. All right. Time for that. Okay, so there's another dish, fun to eat and make, Kalamata. Kalamata goat cheese stuffed mushrooms. Yes. I love mushrooms. You yeah. have me at goat cheese. Right? Cool. So what we can do right here is we're, we can start stuffing them by just adding a little bit of spinach at the base of them. Uh, spinach wilts uh, really easily once you cook it. But then we're going to add some Kalamata olives. And it's just very savory, very simple, low-carb dish. It's better than having, like, chips and crackers and all kinds of things when you want um, some lower carb dishes and we're topping it off with goat cheese and a lot of people with uh, dairy intolerances actually do better with goat cheese because it's very low in lactose. Mm. Ah, so, you like goat cheese, right? I love goat yeah. cheese. Yeah, yes, absolutely. it's very, very do we, healthy. Do we cook this or this is ready to eat? So you would put this in the oven uh -huh. and we actually have some finished pieces over here that you guys uh. can try but they're really good, very simple and very low calorie and low carb. There's something about these kind of mushrooms that they're just so meaty. You know, yes. it's almost like you're, right? It's not really like a vegetable. You know, we have that guest who said you want to have a mixture of flavor, mm -hmm. like an explosion, and that's mm -hmm. exactly what that is. Oh, that's it's, awesome. It's delicious. It's yeah. Really yeah. Like and it. easy to make. Very easy. All right, let's talk about dessert. Yes, we have a pumpkin cheesecake here, and this is very simple. It has no added sugar to it, no added carbs. So the beauty of it is it's based off of cream cheese, some heavy whipping cream, some coconut based ingredients, and it is absolutely delicious with a little bit of pumpkin puree, but there's no added sugars in this whatsoever. Ready to dig in? Yeah, go for it. He's kind of a connoisseur when it comes to yes. dessert. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and, and it's completely natural too. Ready? Yes, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. No mm. added sugars. Like Does it taste yes. sweet? You made it without any. It actually tastes really, really? sweet. Mm -hmm. So, what gives it the sweetness? Yeah, there's a little bit of monk fruit in there, which oh, is a really yeah. low glycemic index, zero calorie sweetener. It's better than stevia. It's one of the best really? sweeteners. So, yes. So, so, would you say so monk fruit is the, it is the best? And then, would stevia be next? I would say stevia would be next because it has no, monk fruit has no aftertaste. It tastes just like sugar. I'm gonna have to try. That. Seriously, check I'd, it out. I'd recommend it. Yes. Do you want to do you want to try that? Um, I just might. You might. Yeah. yeah. Go for it. I just there you might. go. All right. Usually, I like to let him eat so that one of us can talk. <laughs> there you and, go. Um, oh, just wait. Yeah. It's got a good okay. aftertaste too. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. It's pretty good. Right. Sugar. Yeah. Seriously. I'll take that. Yeah, definitely. Wow, maybe. Right on. Thank you so much. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet that you. That was guys. great. A food here. scientist. Food yes. scientist. Do you rub it in when you talk to people? Well, I'm a scientist. I'm a scientist. No. no. Well, For you more information <laughs> from Christine, you can head to gagegirltraining.com and you can learn all about the things you've seen today on the KTL Week Weekend Morning News. Yeah. Thanks so much for coming Thank in. Thank you guys. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.